emojis. Absolutely the quintessential needed thing for working on Twitter day in and day out. So uh, that statement alone makes people cringe. And I think Brian Lunduk probably just passed away somewhere because he heard me say emoji support in Linux. But with all that said, emoji support, if you are on Twitter or you're just a big fan of emojis on whatever social media it is, even YouTube messages, you can have that support in Linux. And honestly, there's a lot of websites that don't render properly and you see those little black rectangles. And that just kind of stinks. I wanna see those emojis when they pop up. So there's a bunch of different ways to make emoji support happen in Linux. Now I wrote an entire article about this. So let's go ahead and jump over onto the desktop and I'll go over what all this entails. Now, if you go to christitis.com forward slash emoji, you'll get to this site right here. Now, first off, Let's install the packages and I'm, I'm, I'll actually go ahead and do this. Depending if it's on Arch or Debian, the Noto fonts emoji package is the same on both. So have no fear. Uh, I left the Debian installer and the Arch. So depending on what you're using, you can do this. Fedora, just make sure I think uh, you need the RPM Fusion repositories, but uh, everyone has this package. Next up, we're gonna create a font file. So there's two ways to do the font config file. now. This is how it gets displayed on your screen. So just having this package installed, it'll pretty much get rid of most of those black rectangles, but you're not really gonna have much access to those. And honestly, most of the fonts will override existing emojis. So sometimes you get these Unicode emojis, which are kind of ugly and you want like the new hotness. Uh, that's why you would create a font config file to kind of override some of those uh, emojis that could look a little better. So. Uh, that's why I go down here and create a font config file. Now I have two different ways and two very different install methods. By using etc fonts, you're going to be doing system-wide modifications. That's for all your users. And by using uh, the dot config folder in your home directory, you're just doing it for your user. So if you do have multi-users, you might just do the home install, but you can throw it into font etc fonts and then conf.d but both of these basically do the same thing. I just wanted to show both methods. Now, as far as the actual, what we're doing in them, I'm doing two different things in both of these files. So I wanna go ahead and walk through that. This uses Google emojis when it finds an emoji pattern in this font family. So this is a very specific file. It'll go ahead and overwrite just a little bit and you're not gonna see emojis except when this font family is used and it's trying to cull from its emoji. So very cool, but at the same time on the o2emoji.conf, you'll notice I went ahead and did sans serif, serif and monospace, which those are really big font families. They're used in terminal. They're used in a lot of places. So. This right here would have emojis everywhere. For that 0.001% teenage girls out there that want it everywhere, by all means, there you go. Uh, for that maybe one or two people that watch this video that this would actually be applicable. For most people, you're gonna wanna stick to this top file and drop it into this directory. A Couple things, when you're using the home directory compared to the system-wide directory, uh, you're not probably gonna have font config. I didn't on my Arch install, so you're gonna have to make the font config folder and then also the conf.d folder. So let's go ahead, jump over to the file manager. And in the file manager, we'll just go config and look at font config. Now, if you don't have this and you're using Nautilus uh, and you can't get into this directory, just hold control and press L to go ahead and get it. I went ahead and edited Nautilus so it always displays the full path as that's just kind of eh. And if you wanna do that, you can always display the full path by using dconf-editor. That's a nice little package to also have. And then in here, we have our emoji file. So uh, let's go ahead and open that. And for whatever reason, defaulting to the wrong editor. Uh, I got too much stuff installed. But you see, this is actually what I'm using. And let me close this you'll see that I'm using the minimal install as this is kind of what I recommend. But with that done, I still want a, a little bit more. I want this to be um, not necessarily everywhere, but I want to be able to utilize these emojis on the fly using um, an emoji picker. So kind of cool. So like, let's say I'm on Twitter and I want to go ahead and copy and paste emojis, but I don't want to look them up and do that. And I don't want to get on my phone. So let's quit this out. And there's another package to install. 
And that package is simply the emoji keyboard package. And this is actually ibus-uni emoji. Now this package doesn't exist in any repositories that I could find on any system. Um, you could build it from source through Debian. Uh, Salty Horse actually made this and I left the link on my website here. Um, if you're on Arch, the AUR does have it. It will build the iBus Uni Emoji package. And if you're a GNOME user out there, you actually have an extension, and this will take you directly to the GNOME extension. Now, I'm not using GNOME, so it's not going to allow me to install it, but you could actually do that and make a little emoji picker right there in your thing. But uh, for most people, I know there's not a whole lot of GNOME users out there. Uh, I'll show you basically how this will work. Um, now, I made a keybind using the settings tool. So if you're in KDE, you can make a key bind to iBus space emoji. Or if you just like typing stuff in all the time, you can hold uh, Alt and press space, launcher into launcher and go iBus emoji. And you'll get this little pop-up. This just kind of overlays over whatever you're doing. And then you can drill down and pick exactly the emoji you're looking for. So if I'm looking for, let's just say smileys and emotion is what you use the most. Uh, usually you'll just pick a just a regular one. And then let's go ahead and open up tweet, compose a new, and then paste that in. And I made a little hotkey, as I said, so I don't want to type that in iBus space emoji in every time, so it just kind of auto launches it. We'll go ahead and grab another one and paste. So that's a good way to just kind of go grab all of the emojis you want, use it in Linux. Uh, a lot of people think, oh man, it's just showing rectangles. I guess Linux doesn't have emoji support. Not only does it have support, but it has a lot of cool projects like this one where you can actually select whatever emoji you want to use and make it better. So uh, I absolutely love this as far as being on Twitter and doing an emoji because I will use an emoji every once in a while. Usually I just overuse the winky face because I guess I'm just not as hip as some of these youngsters. I'm, I'm not even 40, but you know. So that's everything you need to know about emojis. I can't believe I made an emoji video for Linux, but at the same time, I was on Twitter and I was like, how in the heck do you do emojis properly? Or maybe even in YouTube comments section. Let me know in the comments, install these packages, paste a comment with an emoji. Let me know how you think of it. And with all that, a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one and I'll see you in the next one.